Hi you guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be doing our SIPs challenge lesson number 12. Um, so we'll just jump in right away. So here we go. Um, here's our sentence for the day. When can you go with me? Question, when can you go with me? Here is gonna be our new sound that we'll just be looking at today. WH says, Wuh. when can you go with me? Here's our sound. Ready, read. Wuh. Read. Wuh. Example is when or where. Okay. So um, you can kind of blow. Wuh. So it's different than wuh, just W. WH is more of a blowing sound. Wuh. Wuh. Okay, good. And one more time. Wuh. Good. Let's review the ones that we were working on yesterday. Just make sure we're mastering them. Remember this one. Um, this one, um, there was uh, two, two ways to make this sound. So ready? Read. Good, like phone or elephant. Read. You can also um, do this with just an F, right? PH and F both say Good. Okay, ready, read. Ch, read. Ch. Uh, so like chin or chip. Does your chin itch? Good. Okay, and last one to review today. Remember, this TCH also says ch, like itch. And this spelling will um, occur at the end of the word, which is what that um, little line indicates. So this will fall at the end of a word. Okay, nice job. Okay, well, now let's go ahead and go and read our word list. We're gonna practice uh, some of the sounds that we've been reviewing, okay? So here's our list. Remember, WH, practice that sound for me. WH says, Whoa. good, blowing sound, ready? Whiz. Read, patch. Read, wham. Read, wit. Read, chill. Read, wed. Nice. Okay, these are our words, and these might be parts of syllables. Okay, so remember, WH, practice that sound one more time for me. Ready? You can kind of feel it. Ready? Whis. Good. TCH, that sound says? Ch. Good, ready? Etch. Perfect. Read. Shen. Good. Read. Win. Perfect. Nice job. Okay. We'll keep going. Um, here, we will work on that fun sort of brain gymnastics where we're thinking about different syllables. And um, I'm gonna remind you like I did yesterday. Remember the vowel at the end of a word is uh, gonna be long. I'm sorry, the vowel at the end of a syllable will be um, long and vowels that are not at the end are gonna be a short sound. Okay, so something to remember as we do these. All right, here we go. So peek at this, read. Boss. Good. Short. Short sound because it's in the middle. Nice. Ready? Read. Vowels in the beginning. It's going to be short. Read. Os. Good. Read. Bow. Long vowel sound. Nice work. Read, Seth, perfect. Boop. Read, C, good. And read, F, short sound. Okay, let's do one real quick. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, read, Id, perfect. Read, nigh. Good, if you said nih, 
Remember, vowel at the end is long. Read. Oh, that's a terrible, terrible D. I'm so sorry. Read. Nid. Perfect. This is excellent. Good job, you guys. That's kind of fun for our brain, isn't it? To kind of go back and forth like that. I love it. Okay, let's look at our new syllables. Um, so today we'll learn some new ones and then we'll do some review of our old ones. Okay, so this one um, is frack and its definition is break. So um, it's a root word to break. So think about uh, fractions. You're breaking those apart. Um, maybe think about a fracture where have you ever had a fracture or a break on your arm? It means your or body. When your bone fractures, it breaks. Okay, so ready? Read. Frack. Read. Frack. Definition. Break. Nice job. Okay, this is because it has a red line underneath. This is an irregular syllable. You're going to need to know this one um, just by sight or by heart. This is a sight syllable. And this is, ready, read, per, read, per. So like person or perfect. Nice job. Okay. This one we can sound out. It's not irregular. Read, diff, read, diff. Go ahead and spell it. D-I-F, read, diff, as in different or difficult. Perfect. Hmm. This is our word scope. Scope. This would typically fall at the end. Um, it's a root word, but it would fall at the end. So for example, we have something like telescope or microscope. And the definition of scope is watch. Read scope. Definition watch. Good. Okay, this also would fall um, at the end of the word. This is considered a suffix. Uh, this is the word ship. Read ship. So for example, friendship or hardship. Those are examples of ship. Perfect. Okay, last one um, for our new um, syllables today is necked. Necked. Spell N E C. T, read, necked. This is like for an example of connect. Okay, so when you see that, you get to break that apart and know that one. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and review the ones from yesterday. We'll go quick. Read, D. Good, it's a prefix, D side or D ice. Read, scan, as in scanner. This is an irregular syllable. You need to know this one by heart, by sight. Ready, read. Good. Auto. Definition. Self. Perfect. Nice work. Read. Ac. Uh, for accident or accept. Perfect. Okay, this one's that irregular again, has that red line underneath. We just need to know this. This is going to be a suffix. It's going to be the um, toward the end of the word or at the end of the word. Um, this one is really important. Ready? Shun. Shun. For example, action or addition. Let's spell it. T-I-O-N. Good. Ready? Read. Shun. Excellent. Okay. We'll go quick today. The last part we're going to be reading by syllables. So I'm going to write some syllables down and then you'll be reading them. So... Here we go. Whoops, hang on, I think I got the wrong one here. Okay. Ready, read. Mag. Read. Net. Whole word. Magnet. Nice job. Ready, read. Nay. Remember, vowels at the end, so it's going to be long. Nay. And read. 
shun. Remember we've been working on that one? Whole word. Nation. Perfect. This is this is really cool because this is going to be two of the syllables we've been working on. Ready? Read. Frack. Remember to break. Good. Read. Shun. Whole word. Fraction. Like in math. Nice work. Let's do one more. Um, let's do... Read. Cop. Read. Per. Whole word. Copper. Good. Remember yesterday we were working on that vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, and we remember that pattern that we go ahead and we um, do that syllable break right between the, the two consonants. So here's an example of that, okay? Just as a reminder. Nice work. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you a couple words um, that um, you are already written down here. Okay, I want you to think about this. Um, again, I'm going to remind you of that vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. So when we're looking at these, I want you to be thinking about that and seeing if you can see the pattern. Okay, so I'm going to ask you, we're going to read it. For example, read, admit. Good. How many syllables? Admit. Good. And where do I break it? Remember our pattern. Consonant, vowel, vowel, consonant. I'm sorry, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. We're going to go ahead and break it right there. Admit. Okay, let's keep going. Ready, read. 20. Good. How many syllables? Two. Let's go ahead. We have vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. We're breaking between the N and the T. Okay. Number. How many syllables? Number. Two, I see the pattern of vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. Where does our syllable go? Our break. Good. If you said right between the M and the B, you're right. Let's go ahead. Perfect. Okay. Two more and we're done. Ready? Read. Butter. Good. I'm going to go ahead and mark vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. Where does our syllable break go? Between the two T's. Butter. Nice work. Last one. Here's that word. Let's read it. Read. Sudden. Good. Think about the vowel patterns we've been working on. Where are you going to split it? Good. Sudden. Sudden. Two syllables. You break it between those two um, consonants. Perfect. You guys did a really great job today. Here is um, going to be our exit ticket out. We'll go quick. Ready? Read. Frack. Remember? Definition. Break. Good. Fraction. Fracture. Good. Read. Per. Excellent. Person or perfect. Read. Diff. Different. Difficult. Read. Scope, definition, watch, read, ship, read, necked. You did it. I'll see you soon. Good job. Bye.